Hi everyone, today, I will introduce to you a science fiction thriller film with the highly psychological segments, which makes audiences startled and fascinated. Elizabeth Harvest. Henry is a 60-year-old scientist. He owns Propri Palatial House on the Hill. One day, Henry comes back home with a beautiful young girl. This is Henry's new bride, Elizabeth. She looks like his niece. There have two other people here, the housekeeper Claire and a blind man Oliver. However, their expression is so weird. Henry and Elizabeth have a romantic dinner together, Claire appears suddenly, and she is obliged to go out immediately by Henry. It is getting more dark. Henry quickly takes off Elizabeth's bright clothing, and pushes her into the bed. Henry transfers from withered cucumber to a green cucumber. When he emerges himself wholly in the beauty of Elizabeth's body, so he is extremely excited. The day after, he shows Elizabeth around the house, each a private room like clothing room, reading room. On the whole, Henry has everything apart from a wife, so, Elizabeth is definitely coddled like a princess. He swears that everything is belongs to her. At this time, they unintentionally go to a room. Elizabeth just wants to come in, but Henry does not permit her to enter. I have set up our fingerprints as a password, but you could not enter this room. Elizabeth shows her obedience, and quickly agrees with Henry. But she has a little inner curiosity, she really wants to know what is in that room. Elizabeth looks so pliant like a kitten, so Henry can't control himself, he instantly has sex with her. In the meantime, the housekeeper is looking Henry, with the bullet-shaped eyes, and leaves after a short time. The second day Henry must leave for work. Elizabeth wakes up in the big bed alone, she feels lonely in this giant villa, she does not know exactly what she wants and what she needs. She could not understand clearly about herself, even Henry, she used to try to explain, the meaning of this marriage with Henry to Claire, but there are not any results because of Claire's ignorance. After lunch, Elizabeth feels too bored, she likes a princess now, she takes off dozens of clothes a day, and then dances in front of the mirror, although she does not know how to dance, but this is her dream, because Henry is not beside her that night, she seems to be unable to sleep. She comes up with entering the forbidden room. Elizabeth walks into that room. The whole room is like a mortuary, and is divided into each drawer. There are heart monitor, blood pressure monitor, and body temperature monitor. Elizabeth is so curious that she opened a drawer, but she trembles when she looks at it. Is this her? Elizabeth runs out of the room in the panic. Henry returns home the morning after, while Henry is playing the piano for the little bride. Elizabeth is still puzzled about the matter of last night. Henry softly hug her and whisper, did you miss me last night? Elizabeth suddenly remembered what she saw last night, she answers stammeringly him. Tonight, Henry still has a passionate sex with her, but Henry discovers her unnormal behavior. After satisfying Henry, she sees him go out, so she decides to follow him and go to the forbidden room. He is waiting her here, with a big knife in his hand, and stabs Elizabeth many times to death. Claire and Oliver seem to be so familiar with this. They support him to dig a grave in the grounds, and then dispose of her corpse into this. The next morning, the three consider nothing happens and continue to have a normal breakfast. But this time, Claire sit in the position of Henry. This seems like a family with three members in a meal. Claire warns Henry to stop this action. There's an argument between them and then she leaves out. At this time, a police officer comes here to investigate. Henry says that his wife is sleeping in the floor. Six weeks later, all things happened in the past, at Henry House repeats one more time. Another Elizabeth, in the same way of introducing this palatial house. And of course, they have the same crazy night. Henry seems to emerge himself in the youth's force, he feels himself as a young man. Elizabeth has the same curiosity as before, but this time the new Elizabeth screams before running. This shout awakes another Elizabeth who is sleeping inside the drawer. This Elizabeth get out of the laboratory and go toward the bedroom. One thing is that Elizabeth is so frightened that she sinks into sleeps. She is awakened by Henry at lunch in the following day. She is so scared and hides in the bathroom, but Henry quickly discovers the matters. Now, Elizabeth is completely skeptical. Why does Henry invent her so many clones of Elizabeth like that? The reasons have just three things. The first thing is that he can handle his sexual needs. Elizabeth is considered as a sex doll. The second thing is to make Elizabeth curious, and the last thing is to wait Elizabeth to enter the forbidden room and then immediately kill her. The whole of three steps makes the audience extremely excited, but it is more difficult than before to kill the new Elizabeth. Elizabeth takes a knife and waits for Henry. Henry is on verge of her back, and intends to make her faint by a towel containing anesthetic. Henry is so terrible strong, but before being faint, she takes the knife in time and scabs Henny. After, she uses his fingerprint to open the door, despite of her efforts, she is failure to escape from this house. 
She must call to the police, but she does not know where this house is. When Elizabeth sees Claire and Oliver returning this house, she pretends to be calm as nothing happens, and reads book. But she has an inner panic. Claire is being in the kitchen now. She seems to feel the weird thing. She suddenly has a heart attack. When Claire is taken to the hospital, Elizabeth intends to escape from the villa, but she is called by Oliver. The blind guy knows all the matters. He helps Elizabeth to tackle the corpse, and then the police car is coming. This is Logan's car. He always wants to meet Elizabeth. Because each time he comes here, Henry always says that she is sleeping, so the police officer has a doubt about her existence. He asks Elizabeth that if she called the police, but she denies and says it was Claire. Logan is still skeptical. He emphasizes again about the things in the past. Does Henry feel uncomfortable? Claire is taken to the hospital because of heart attack. Oliver is just a blind guy, but he does not still finish his words. Oliver shoots him from his back. Elizabeth is more confused than Oliver. Oliver asks, I shot him? Yes. Why you do that? Because Logan met one clone of Elizabeth three years ago, and he takes a slot in the blacklist of Henry. So now Oliver killed him to save Elizabeth. Oliver makes her realize that all her memories are set up by Henry. Elizabeth seems to understand that she is just a clone, but she could not accept this truth. The two take Logan's corpse into furnace. Elizabeth turns back her room to change clothes and washes blood in her face. Oliver comes to her and gives her two Claire's journals, in order that she can find out some important information, and then locks the door of Elizabeth's room. Right now she can feel the Oliver's threat. Claire's journals records the achievements of Henry in science sectors. He was a billionaire when he retires. Henry started doing experiments five years ago. He wanted to resurrect his wife from the dead, because his wife passed away when she gave the birth. She became an inner hurtfulness to Henry, so Henry decided to keep six original cells of Elizabeth, and created six clones of Elizabeth. But there were two abnormal cells, and the two clones could not survive for such a long time, and then Claire came to Henry's house when he had four cells. Two year ago, she tried any ways to broke cells mutations, the third clone of Elizabeth was created with a good help, but she had difficulties in speaking and had unstable mind. After just a short time, in fact, she did not seek the reason to live, she was so curious and enters the forbidden room, and she discovered plenty of girls with the same appearance, so she ran away immediately. After Elizabeth was seen by Logan, Claire told a lie to him that Elizabeth was her niece, and covered the truth. When she reads to this sentence, Oliver enters the room and gives her food, Elizabeth takes this opportunity to tie him up, and runs away from this room. It is unbelievable that Oliver gives her an incorrect password. Elizabeth goes to the kitchen and takes a knife, at this time Oliver finishes untying, he quickly moves to the laboratory. Elizabeth enters carefully, but she is being skeptical about Oliver's eyes, he gives her his word that he will release her as long as she reveals the content of the journal. And then, Oliver secretly injects sleeping pills into Elizabeth's neck. He is turns out a professional blind guy. Can he see everything? Elizabeth wakes up while being tied with leash, and being imprisoned in this room, so she continues to read Claire's journal. The cause of death of the third clone of Elizabeth was asphyxiation. The experiment was abortive, Claire and Henry went on to returning the laboratory, but this time Claire was successful in leading Henry. The two more understand each other after a funny time. Oliver sees Elizabeth again, and asks her what content in this journal, and tells Elizabeth that the third clone did not die unreasonably. It was Henry when he felt so sucks, he killed her. Two days after, Oliver asks Elizabeth to tell the truth. When she finished the Claire's journal, he asks her to tell about what Claire write about him. Claire thought that Oliver was the clone of Henry, so that Henry can be immortal. But after calling to the hospital to identify this matter, she knew that Oliver was turns out Henry's children, instead of his clone. And Oliver could live his own life. Elizabeth seems to feel the inner panic of Oliver. She charms in purpose Oliver. She intentionally takes off her pants. Oliver seems to feel something at this time. He comes toward Elizabeth while being doubt her. Elizabeth shoves instantly Oliver. She constantly kicks Oliver, and screams. I wish I could kill you, I hate all things about you. So is Oliver the child or the clone of Henry? At this time, a new Elizabeth clone appears and holds the shotgun towards Elizabeth. The fifth Elizabeth is so confused, she wonders why she has a clone, who are you? I am Elizabeth. The last Elizabeth clone is confused too and asks Oliver, Henry. Who is she, why she is the same me? The fifth Elizabeth says, no, he is Oliver, not Henry. So who is exactly all of three, and who is wrong here? The fifth Elizabeth now takes the scissors on the floor, and the scissors in adjacent to the Oliver's neck. 
but both of them are shot by the last Elizabeth. The fifth Elizabeth finally sees the outside world, but she falls down just after a few footsteps. In the end, there is just the last Elizabeth who is get out of the villa, she finally has the freedom. And Claire returns home from the hospital, try to guess, how many Henry's clone does she process? 